Well, I was trained uh, as a physician to be sort of a proud soloist, uh, to do my job well, and that was excellence. Um, soloists are still important, but the orchestra is what matters now. P the, the, with the new burdens of chronic illness, with the kinds of, of, uh, of uh, mul multiple problems patients can bring to us, and with the new supports that exist for health and well-being in communities, this is an era of network medicine, an, an, an era in which uh, the people and the organizations that touch the patient and the family are, are many. And so as a doctor, this poses a question for you. Will, you. will you join the orchestra? Will you be part of something larger than yourself? This involves information and information exchange because of all the networks in our lives now. It's the internet, the ability to move knowledge around. Uh, that's the digital network we're all in. So are patients. And your ability to work with, uh, with uh, patients and families and healing through digital means is crucial now. Why would you insist on visits when an email exchange can do the same? Why would you insist on supplying information where people can find it for themselves? So you're part of, you're part of a large information network. The physical networks are changing. Where people get their care is different now. In the United States, anyway, we built a hospital-centric system where the identity of the doctor, the expectations of the patient, all have to do with institutions. You go to the building, you make an appointment, you are admitted, no longer. Now care can be moved to where people are, where they live, to their homes, to their communities, and that means the doctor moves too. And so a modern specialist will find himself or herself engaged with people in many different kinds of places over many different media. The other kind of network that I think is crucial is the nature of the team. This can be a little threatening to doctors. Uh, you're taught you're the captain of the team or maybe you are the, the soloist hero. Not really. What we know now from science is that when patients feel there really is a team, when people who are helping them are in touch with, G with each other, when they defer to each other, when they share their knowledge, when hierarchy becomes much less important and information more important, the care gets better. The costs fall, the outcomes improve, and by the way, there's more satisfaction in that kind of work. So for specialists in, in medicine, surgery, there's a new question also, which is not what do you do only, but what are you part of? And I think that's what's behind the concept of, of network medicine that's part of this uh, vision of the future. If you're interested in being a player in modern network medicine, uh, here's two ideas. The first is create new pathways for people to reach you for help. If you're not using the internet to interact with patients, emails, digital connections, go ahead and do it. Start it. You'll, you'll like it better. The second is a question that I ask my medical students to, to, to master. I said, you're being taught to ask the question, what do I do? Uh, that's a good question, but there's an even better one, which is, what am I part of? Uh, begin that exploration and you'll become a, a, a member of the new wave of working together in interdependency.